potatoes ain't just for eating. <laughs> Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Mashed, fried, baked, twice baked, au gratin. You can do all types of things with potatoes yeah. if you're gonna stuff them in your mouth, but what if you remove the stuffing in your my face hole <laughs> criteria? Oh my goodness. What, what if you remove that criteria? <laughs> Please remove it. Please remove whatever you- What are you gonna do with potatoes if you're not gonna stuff them in your face hole? Lots of interesting things, and we're going to do that for you today in another installment of Let's Get Weird With It, Potatoes. Here's a riddle. How many entertainers does it take to change a light bulb? It depends on how many potatoes they have. I've heard of this one, but I've never tried it. Until right now. Uh, first, you gotta have a pan, uh, and then you gotta have a light bulb. Uh, really, you just need to have a light bulb, and you don't need a pan, but we're gonna have this for safety. And, and goggles. Also, you're gonna have these for safety. We're assuming that you have a broken light bulb in your house already. Not that you're going to break light bulbs like we're about to do. Uh, but it's but, fun. <laughs> but the only thing more dangerous than breaking a light bulb right in front of your friend yeah. is then trying to unscrew the light bulb with your bare hands. That's where the tater comes in. You but first you gotta break, break the bulb. Break them together? Like, like, or should we bro break them down? You break yours first and I'll see how it goes. <sighs> Wish me luck, man. Good luck, man. Three, two, one. <laughs> okay, hold on. Didn't get, you didn't give me enough luck, man. Let me try. Better luck, man. Three, two, one. Okay. <laughs> it's a, it's a, Can I try? It's a good bulb. <laughs> <laughs> Problem solved. Yeah. Just don't break the yeah, bulb. Yeah, get an unbreakable bulb. <laughs> that thing's gonna. This is how I typically break bulbs. Why am I the only one in this house that turns off all the lights? <laughs> I'm always turning off the lights after everybody. <laughs> Look, I broke the bulb, but I didn't. I broke the actual fixture. Okay, listen. This is for the next thing, but I'll go ahead and break it out. Now, easy, easy, like an egg. Whoa, oh, gas, gas. Don't breathe it. You know, oh, well, that's gonna be tough. Oh, oh okay. Well, we've at least got mine. Here we go. Woo We're having fun today. Okay. Hi. Now, you get a knife. <laughs> and there's a tater that's already cut over there. But I want to do it the right way, and the, man. Oh, you, yeah, you cut it in half, we'll each take a half. So what you do is you cut the uh, potato in half, and then we don't we don't really need this part anymore. Let's get, let's get rid of this. You might want a bigger potato, but this is the size of potato that I have. And then... And just to be extra safe... We're gonna wear a glove. Only wear Blue Hawk gloves. And then you just grab this. Not a this, sponsor, just and it's, that's what's on there. See, if you had like some glass shards, which there are some shards down in there, but we kind of de-sharded it for the most You've part. You've taken, the, I mean, yours is pointless because it's already completely out of the thing. Mine is a bit more of a typical situation over here. Look, look at that, totally working. I just took it right in there at the top, and then you just turn the potato. I usually unscrew with my right hand. <laughs> You e think I'm left-handed. Even as a left-hander, you unscrew with the right hand? I screw with Yours the right is sort of pointless altogether, though, because do you understand what I'm saying? Like, yeah. There you go. Great job. I usually throw tantrums when I have to do household chores. <laughs> but look how easily that works. You did great, Rhett. Yeah, you got right on there, and then, and of course, now you can light this up. I wasn't joking about turning this into a light. Let's do it. So put one hand here. And then the other hand. No, and then we just like this, and then we rub these hands. <laughs> <laughs> what did it work, man? What did that work? That we changed the world. Well, I'm glad we're taping. That's not what's gonna happen. We do use tape still. We're gonna use the power of a potato like a battery. Yes! And we're gonna make a flashlight. Now what we mean by that is not that you, you can just, you can't just use potatoes as a uh, battery, because I tried that here, and <laughs> that doesn't work. No. Uh, this is a very large flashlight that may seem a little impractical, uh, but the way this works we is- We wanted to make a huge honking mag light. Yeah, we wanted to get- Powered by 
We wanted to get the, the brightest light possible, and when you put this many potatoes together, the potential for the brightness of the light just goes sky high. So the way this works is basically, we have a series no, of potatoes. Have? We're showing you a diagram on the screen right now so that you can understand what I'm saying. But you do a series of potatoes that have a copper nail and a zinc coated nail, and there is an electronic rea electric reaction that happens between those two, uh, where an exchange of electrons, which is what electricity is, and it actually goes through the liquid or the acid inside the potato. So the potato is sort of like the housing of a battery. But if you do enough of these, you can get some serious power. Check this out. All right, so let's aim it. Let's aim it towards them, and you're gonna turn it on. Okay, so cut the lights off. And then we're, brace yourself. Here we go. Mm, you might wanna squint. There it is. <laughs> oh, it, <laughs> Look it at was that. on? That is the power of potatoes. <laughs> it's the on. The power, yeah, it's, it's on. on. Don't insult our light, man. Don't insult our light, look at that. It's like a freaking robot face in there. Hello, that. I live in this light. I am a potato. Now let me show you what that looks like on the inside because I know you're impressed. Now, Lights, I gotta be, careful not, on. gotta be careful not to shock myself when I take this off. But this is a series oh, of yeah. taters. Never look down the barrel of a <laughs> flashlight. <laughs> That's a dad joke if I've ever seen one. Man, this thing is constipated. Whoops. Oh. Okay, you broke it. <laughs> Just. We're never gonna get out of here alive now. Our torch is dead. There, there we, we go. go. Oh, what? sometimes it does look like that. It's like a tater snake. <laughs> <laughs> That was a healthy bowel movement that thing just had. <laughs> so as you can see, this is just a series of potatoes and we've got the different nails on each side. You see, oh, there's, there's one that's been exposed. So as you can see there, we've got the copper nail and the zinc nail and the electric exchange between the two of those. Yes, and if you wanna know how to make one of these amazing devices, just watch Good Mythical Crew this listen, Saturday morning. You may think this isn't a lot of light, but when the apocalypse comes, you're going to appreciate every, every bit of light that, you, of can light that you can get. Another great use for a potato is as a little caddy. Look I have a bathroom caddy that I, I've had this for years. I just haven't told you about it. It's where I keep my toothbrush, my tweezers, my razor, my lipstick, and my beard oil. Your lipstick. Yeah, and I just and see it's just right in there. It's just perfect, made for all of that, and I keep it right in there. I keep my tater caddy in the car because that's where I need my sunglasses, my phone, my other sunglasses. And it's got a built-in cup holder right there. That's a little, it's like a swish cup. And portion control. Portion control for water. <laughs> but the most practical use for a potato caddy is a potato potato caddy. Boom. Look at that. And these are just popping right in your mouth. Mm. Mm. You isn't, can do, do that while driving. Isn't that cute? Hold on, sitting. And then after you finish all your potatoes, it's potato knuckles. <laughs> Bam. For bar fights. I had one of these uh, Mr. Potato Heads as a kid, which mm. provided me with minutes of entertainment. Yeah, I mean, look, you can put stuff on it, and then you can change, oh, look, his ear the other way, or. And the original Mr. Potato Head was actually, legitimately, not making this up, just a potato until they realized that it wasn't very sanitary when it rotted, but, you know, it's the same principle as a Mr. Throw potato on Head. There. It was even more fun because you got to eat the dude after it was done. Yeah, I'm so hungry kids for got some tater man. Feel like cannibals. Mm-hmm, but listen, why stop there when you can go full-blown human size, real life Mr. Potato Heads? Let's become Potato Heads. Oh. Oh. Hello. Oh my goodness. So, my, my eye holes, I can barely see. I got one good eye hole. I've got two good ones. I got like a nose already. You're a little stumpy. You're tall, man. Okay, well let's do this, Link. I gotta hold my shoulders up. Oh, I just realized my nose itches and I went like this. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, you want me to put an ear on you? I'll put some eyes on you. Oh! What? It went right in my ear. Oh, really? That's Let's the kid. right spot then. Oh, oh, oh! Got one. Okay. Looks right Give me, me some ears. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh. That's right on my forehead. All right, what else do you need? <laughs> Give me some eyes, man. Where are the eyes? 
Right here, right here. Alright, yeah. I'm going right here. Oh. Oh, okay. oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> I got a tongue for you. I'm gonna put a mouth on you, you put a tongue on me. There you go. <laughs> and uh, I need some ears, homie. Where's ears? Oh. Did you give me a nose? Ears, here we go. Oh, hold on, I can't see when you do that. <clears throat> okay. And a nose for you. Oh, a nose and a mustache. Turn. What's this? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Let me give you a... <clears throat> I give up on it. <laughs> How do we look? This we look is more good. fun than the original, man. Yeah, pretty great. I went kind of low with your mouth. <laughs> Okay. I recommend trying this at home. <laughs> Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is. What's up, everybody? My name is Desmond. I'm from Madison, Illinois, and it's time for Renly to spin the wheel of mythicality. Are you ready? Episode 5 of Buddy System comes out today on this yes. channel. It may or may not include a power nap rap. What? Click through to Check Good Mythical More, where we're going to do the... A potato theater challenge. If you haven't heard of it, <laughs> you will. Link's hands are cats. Hey, 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 hey. I don't know how to break this to you, but. Well, that's weird. You got cat hands, but they're petting each other like human hands. They're also my hands. But your mouth is making the noise. This is really weird. It wasn't weird at first when you just had cat hands, but it got weird when they started petting each other and you started making the noises. Perfect. Now it just makes me think that this is all an act. It makes me just think it's all an act and you actually just have real hands. And I'm disappointed. Oh, but it is soft. Hello, would you, would you mind if I painted you? Paint Mr. me like your french fries, Jack. Oh, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't have any brushes. 